rules and regulations, and we talked about what LICE is about. So, um, yeah, it's recording. Um, rules, regulations, uniform, and what LICE is about. Um, we briefly talked about like capital, like like fun, like fundraising, and how how we're gonna um, earn money and everything else, um, so we can make we can like. Um, Purchase more uniforms for new members. Purchase their 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 badges and name tags and stuff like that, and their caps and stuff like that. So we talked about that as well. Um, funding briefly. So just to give you an introduction, since you since you're a new member, um, and we're gonna talk about like um, the initiation process of, of membership in LISO. So so membership. process okay so these four I'm gonna go over um, but other, otherwise William well, welcome to the club thank you yeah I have to give you an initial initial ceremony to to give you a membership certificate okay. and and your air crew badge okay. so um so definitely you'll be earning that so the introduction of Legion Squadron Association um, spelled like this is Is that we are a nonprofit uniform organization. It was started by me on March 3rd, 2019, and um, the reason being is for us to, for us as pilots, ATCs, air, uh, flight attendants, air traffic control, all that stuff, um, mechanics, engineers, everyone else in aviation, is to look professionally uniform and to go out to the public and talk about aviation and talk to the youth of career opportunities in aviation if they don't want to do doctor, lawyer, engineer, or teacher. They have other options in aviation um, that makes the same amount of salary as those fields. So that's why this this what this club was about and this organization was about. Um, are we going to only be in Vaughn? No. We're going to be in other colleges as well. We're going to be in other organizations that's not outside of school. That's outside of school. So that, so that being said, um, um, that's the last well, more of a long-term goal. So we're gonna go to like other schools have have our chapters. You know how the fraternity had their chapters. Yeah. yeah. Lysa is gonna have their chapters as well. Okay. So like um, and Lysa, the all of the fields in Lysa, uh, we will have pilots, of course, ATC, um, engineers for airplanes, or Soviet engineers, mechanical engineers, etc. Um, business managers, because you need business, airport business managers, management, and we'll also have um, flight attendants, because I'm not going to lie, they're very slept on, they do a lot to make sure all passengers are satisfied. As pilots, we can't do everything. We're trying to make sure the safety of the passenger and protect the passenger from terrorists or whoever. So the flight attendants will take care of that. Um, we will also have um, non-flight members, members who are non-flight. Like for example, um, um, our other member, um, he made the logo. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about the logo. He he made the logo of Lysa, and he's a non-flight member. So he's um, he's a graphic designer. So he so. We have non-flight members that will support aviation, support everything in aviation. So, non-flight will only have like one badge, but everyone else will have multiple badges over time. Just to let you know that. But non-flight will only have one badge and um, and some basic awards like a trophy and something like that when they accomplish a great accomplishment in the organization. So, basically. Our main purpose is to dress in our nice uniform, keep it nice and polished, um, follow our chain of command in the organization, you go out to the community, do community service. Um, like, well, for example, we'll have a bake sale, or um, we'll go to re retirement homes and and like um, and tell and talk about what what we do and stuff like that. Um, help them out, whichever the case may be. You know, soup kitchen. You know about soup kitchens. Well, yeah, like for example, like if it's like on soup kitchen, sorry, like if it's like Thanksgiving, we'll do like a turkey drive. 
to, to, to feed the homeless while in uniform so yeah. people can see what we're about and what aviation is about in case someone else who's interested in aviation will say, oh, these guys are cool. Let me join them. I didn't know pilots can do that. I didn't know APC or whoever can do that. Um, yeah, basically that's the whole intro of this. Oh, we're gonna do summer activities as well. So we're gonna do like recruiting in the summer and stuff like that. We're gonna do, we're gonna have fun as well. So we're gonna do like, um, you know, like us in uniform, we're going, we'll go to bowling and then do, have a meeting at a bowling alley, then, then do bowling after. Like um, have a little group trips for the purpose of the, the organization only. Um, we'll be we'll be doing like um, well, when we get our licenses, our pilot licenses, our private pilot licenses. Like uh, like instead of us going to the actual airplane, we're gonna drive the airplane and everyone else in the in the club in the in the organization with us to the Bahamas, for example, and promote our the brand over there. Yeah. So we can have people um, across the country and international as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But, um, and also within, within the organization, you have a right to vote. For example, if you have an idea and you want to say, oh, uh, Kevin or whoever else, oh, we should have, we should have, a, um, I don't know, we should have a, a cupcakes for the bake sale. And then we all, and then we all vote on it. If majority says no, it's not a good idea. It's you've been vetoed. Everyone goes through it, even me. If I have an idea and, and y'all like, nah, Kevin, we're not, we're not doing that. Yeah. I've been vetoed. Okay. So um, now, if majority was like, yeah, we should, we could do that, then you've been approved. So in LIFESO, we have terms vetoed. That means your your suggestion has been denied. Approved means your suggestion has been approved. So, under fair under fair vote, so, so no one can say, oh, I can't speak my mind. I, I didn't join the organization just, just to be this and that the third. Like, I, we're, giving, we're giving you the freedom of speech and vote. So, veto means deny idea. And approved means everyone likes it. So yeah, you have any like uh, think any uh, comments, concerns, questions? Uh, no, besides the, the uniforms. Okay. Yeah. All right. You want me to go briefly with the uniforms? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. No problem. Um, I have the, the manuals right here. I have an updated manual, but like, but like you can go through this. Okay. So, as I go over briefly about the uniforms, definitely. Um, I'm gonna give you the updated version of it. That's our chain of command. Oh, I'm gonna um, ask you which uh, type of position would you like to would like to do in the chain of command. Um, but that's after I do with, with the uniforms. So basically, uniforms. Lysa will be known for uniforms. That's the only thing. Just like how the Girl Scouts are known for cookies, um, Coca-Cola is known for soda. Yeah. Lysa, when everyone on the camera and behind the camera is watching this, you and future members to know about Lysa. Even a random old lady, if you say, who's Lysa? Oh, those are the uniform guys. Like, Lysa will be known for uniforms. Period, that's our brand. Uniforms will help people out. That's what we're known for. So, so the type of uniforms we will have, and everyone in the organization has to wear uniforms. Everyone, even non-flight, has to wear it. So, so um, this, the two major uniforms that we will have is um, it will be under seasonal. In case you're asking, what seasonal? Seasonal will be winter blues. And for the summer, it'll be summer whites. Um, if you can look at the page about the uniforms, um, it'll, it'll be right there. So you can follow up what goes on. Now, so we have two categories. There's A and there's B. So A is seasonal, B is, is year round. 
year-round uniform. So winter blues is what you have on right now. You have on a black v-neck sweater, white shirt, black tie, black pants, black shoes. Which is perfect. You came on. You came just right with the uniform. I just need to give you the badge on, on the yeah. side. I have to give you the wings badge. So v v-neck, black sweater. White shirt, black pants, and black shoes. Oh, I forgot to mention too. Also, with um, what, what we're gonna do is, um, in Lysa, we're gonna like tutor and help people as well, um, regarding with aviation stuff like that. If they if they don't get it, we'll, we'll like we'll put like ask a Lysa ask a Lysa member. To help to help um, people do do um, their tutoring work and stuff like that. So, so that being said, it's winter blues. Winter blues is black v neck sweater, um, what, black pants, black shoes, and you have your officer cap, which is this. So you gotta wear the cap as well. So, um, black officer cap. Now everyone voted for garrison caps because like, because Matthew, he, he's our PA, public affairs. Um, he voted against garrison caps because he felt that it will offend the military. But Larry, um, Larry, Cato, um, and Larry, yeah, Larry, Cato, and Jacob, um, they voted against Matthew. They say we should have garrison caps back. So, so um, if you don't want to wear the officer cap, you can wear the black garrison cap. That's like the little thing that the, the military has that little hot yeah. dog looking thing. So yeah, so garrison caps are back. So just in case if you don't want to wear the black officer cap, you can wear the garrison cap. Now summer whites. Summer whites will be this in all white. You'll have white pants, your white epaulet shirt. Um, you don't have to wear a tie. You can just like let it loose or wear a tie, black tie or white tie. And you have your your white officer cap. So that's summer white. Oh, your white or black shoes. Um, that, that's only for the summer. So, um, so, so all white. I'm gonna put all white. Oh, and your belt. The belt you need to have is my belt is broken, but you need to have this belt with a square buckle. So, the winter blues. You have a khaki with gold, uh, gold buckle, square buckle. Summer whites, black or white belt with gold buckle, if you have it at home. But like, if you don't, it's like seven, six dollars at, at, at your nine cent store or or uh, your Walmart. That's really cheap. Um, so yeah, now, any questions with the winter blues and summer weights? No. Okay, um, now year round uniform, you have Air Force blue, which I'm wearing right now. You have mean green. You have 50 shades. 50 shades is gray. So, so we call it 50 shades because we want to, we want to say 50 shades gray because because people are aviators were kind of we kind of shorten everything. So everyone in the group was like, why say 50 shades gray? We should put 50 shades. So so we call it 50 shades. Um, Air Force Blue, Mean Green, Fifty Shades, um, uh, Peanut Butters, which I was wearing, if you saw me with it, like I was, I was wearing like the all khaki. Yeah. Yeah, that's Peanut Butters. So, so Peanut Butters. Peanut Butters. So yeah, we have these all year round uniforms. That means you can wear this all year round. Uh, when it's summer, you can, I'm gonna explain the shorts of each of these. Um, Oh yeah, summer white. To get back to summer white, um, you can wear casual uh, dress white shorts in case if your legs are hot in the summer. Or if you too hot, wear pants. You can wear the white epaulet shirt, tie or no tie. Um, this uh, summer casual shorts, the white or khaki um, square buckle with gold, the gold buckle, and um, black or black or white shoes with high raised socks. So, end of cap. 
So yeah, so I forgot to mention that as well. Don't worry, if, if I said too much information, is, you can always look at the, the video. Yeah, so, so year-round uniform, you wear this all year round. This you can wear all year round, summer or, or spring, fall, whatever, rain or shine, whatever. But winter blue is only for the winter, fall, spring, only. You don't wear winter blues in summer. Oh yeah, year-round uniform as well. Forgot to mention, five, we have Oreo. Yeah, Oreo. Oreo is like you take off the you take off the the, the V neck sweater and that's Oreo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like sense. it makes sense, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna tell you why we call we call it these names. I'm gonna tell you why in aviation terms. Like um um Hanneberry went over you know you, uh, you'll see why you'll see why it's gonna be hot you'll see why. Um, summer whites only for summer only. You don't wear this in the winter or fall or spring. Like um summer only. Winter blues for winter, fall, spring, summer for summer only. Year round, all year round. Wear, wear, when, wear whenever you want. So, whenever you want. The main reason why we have different uniforms is because you don't want to wear the same thing over and over again. It gets dirty and you don't have a chance to wash it. So, um, so Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays, you don't have to wear a uniform unless we have a meeting. Unless we have a meeting, then we wear the uniform. But otherwise, you don't have to wear the uniform on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But, um, so, um, I'm going to write that down later on. So, the reason why we have Air Force Blue is because we're kind of replicating the Air Force and, and their mass dress uniform, and the sky is blue. That's why. So, we're trying to look like the blue sky. So, that's why we have Air Force Blue. Mean green because some terrains is like strictly green and then when you're landing on, on your Cessna or or your um your, your turbo jet private jet um your or your piper or your um or your diamond you're landing on the green grass the green field of terrain that's why we call it mean green orioles because you have white you have black in one thing that's why um 50 shades is because you can, you can wear different shades of gray. That's why. And the sky right now, right now as we speak, is gray. That's yeah, why. That's so, why. so peanut butter is uh, is because we get so we get so darn hungry to the point that we eat peanut butter. And and we, if you've been to an airplane with a flight attendant, it's giving you like they give you the basics: cookie, pretzel, or peanut butter. So that's why we're reflecting with peanut butter. So, um, we may add another color uniform relating to aviation later on, but, but we're all, we all got, got a vote on it. So, but for now, these, these four, these five is what we have. Okay. And, but in total, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we have seven uniforms in total. The engineers, they have their working uniform, which I'm going to talk about them separately. Um, has nothing to do with the pilots. Yeah. So, um. So the engineers ha have their special uniform. But otherwise, everybody in the organization is wearing the same thing we're wearing. The engineers, they have this propel they have this epaulets, but with the engine propeller on top. Um, ATC, they have this, but with the radio on top. Um, business managers, I'm not sure, unless I can get that customized. Business managers, if they have, if I get the customized epaulets for them, they'll have a book and the epaulets. Um, if that's done, that's probably later on. But right now, they're not gonna wear the epaulets. Yeah. It's gonna wear white shirt, black. Um, if they wear Air Force Blue, they'll wear this and this without this. So, a uh, non-flight would not wear, would not have this at all. They're not allowed to have this because they're non-flight. Doesn't yeah. make sense. Um, let me see. Flight attendants will, will have won't have the epaulets, but they'll wear the exact same thing we're wearing, but without this. Um, um, and uh, most of the flight attendants are women, some are men, but most of them are women, so they'll have their specialized specialized cap, so you can distinguish them with the LSA on top of their thing. Um, yeah, so, let me see. Oh, the, um, the Air, Force, Air Force Blue, there's gonna be, you're gonna, for the winter, 
or spring when it's cold, you're gonna have a blue V-neck sweater, a navy blue V-neck sweater. So when I get my V-neck sweater, it's gonna be that sweater, but in blue. So in me in green, you're gonna have this ver the V-neck sweater in green. So yeah. Now the caps, the, the caps, you can wear this same color cap with all of them. Because I don't want you to be spending money, 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 money. So all of these, you can, all of this, you can wear a black, a black cap. So all of them, you can wear a black cap with it. Um, except for some are white. Some are white, so you have to wear a white cap. But every, everything else, you can wear a black cap with it. Um, our stuff's gonna have an eagle on top of, on right here. So I'm waiting for my eagle. So there'll be an eagle right here. So when you get your cap, I have to give you your eagle. Um, I would, I would initiate for all the new members coming in. I will have to initiate um, a ceremony process to pin you and to give you your name tag and you belong to Lysa. Okay. And this would be good for for your for your resume and this would be good for your habits and skills because when you go to the airlines later on, like um, you could tell them. By that time that happens, I think the whole aviation community should know who Lysa is. By that time that happens, and then they say, "Oh, you're part of Lysa. You're hired." because you already did the habit already. So we'll be forced to reckon with. Um, let's see. Like, from that point on, we would, we would, um, yeah, we, we would do that. Oh, and we, um, when we get the younger kids together as well, um, we're gonna have a, a Lysa Cadet program. So like, uh, they'll be wearing the same uniform, but like, it'll be like, it won't be as extreme. Yeah. Just like how the JRLTC and all stuff, we'll have that version of that when we get all the kids together, have the summer program for the children to have like um, an aviation LISA program uh, for youth. Um, any questions about the, the uniforms or anything like that? Uh, no. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, that's free. That's pretty much it with, with, with all the uniforms. Um, oh yeah, this has been um, suggested and, and voted, but it's in a process. But if you want to do this, like Monday, Wednesday, um, if it's like winter, fall, spring, you can wear winter blues. And if it's summer, Summer whites, so you get a chance to wash your year-round uniform. Um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can wear your year-round uniform. So, William, for for you, for now, like now the year-round uniform, you can you can choose one or more of these. You don't have to get all of them, but you can choose one or more of these. So, if you if you want to use Air Force Blue, um, I'll get, email you the manual of exactly what to get. So you don't be like, oh, Kevin, this is the right one, or Larry, this is the right one. So yeah, if you want to get mean green, which when I get uh, my money from my other federal set work study, I'm going to get the mean green so I can show people what mean green looks like. Um, I mean, Oreo, you already have Oreo. You just got to take off the sweater. <laughs> That's all it is. Like um, 50 shades. I'm gonna show, hopefully the end of the semester, I'll show everyone 50 shades. Um, Y'all already saw peanut butters already. So if you got khaki, um, it has to be a tan khaki shirt and, and a tan like uh, uh, khaki pants. Uh, you can wear the V V neck black sweater with it. So the same thing I was wearing before, you can wear that. Um, definitely, so you can choose one or more of, of these and stuff like that, so, so yeah, and um, the process of joining is that that you need to come to all the meetings, at least three meeting three meetings the minimum. Uh, three meetings the minimum. This is a short process, not a long process. Um, we're gonna customize it, but you gotta wear a paper tag um, that that says you're you're a new license member, so people can see that paper tag. Purchase your uniform, which I will provide you after that. 
I or the CPHO, isn't your chain of command so you can look at it, will conduct a ceremony for, for membership. Basically, you're going, you're going to get a pin and you're going to get a certificate saying you're, you're an official member. And then you got to say an oath. So like um, the oath, I'll go over with everyone. So when you get the, the certificate, your pin, and you say the oath, you have become an official license member. So, and then it will make people outside looking in saying, oh, these guys are serious. Like they, they have a whole ceremony. So yeah. Um, so that's, pr that's pretty much it with this one. Um, every meeting is gonna be recorded for publicity purposes. Um, we're gonna take a picture after each meeting, stuff like that. Um, oh yeah, and you wear your watch, and I'll email you everything and keep you updated. Oh, if you if you're not able to come, just like let us know two two hours in advance or like or like a few minutes in advance. Um, if you can't make it in person, at least give me or one of the members a call, and then so you can hear it through 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 the meeting. So I told everyone that as well, and because a lot of people say, oh, I can't make it, I'm like. Yeah, you can just call the phone. Call the phone, hear it. You don't gotta say nothing. You can press mute, and then if I say meeting is over, then then you know what to do. So you won't say, oh, what what are we what are we talking about? Oh, what happened? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, but yeah, that that's it for the meeting. I don't know where everyone else is at. They oh, they should be coming, but but it's all good. So in this case. This meeting is closed, and I'll see you. I see you next Tuesday. So, uh, what? So I know Thursday is always four to five. Yeah, Thursday is four to five. Tuesday is uh is four four to six. Um, or um, sometimes it could be four to five every Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Yeah, and when the semester is over, when the semester is over, we're gonna meet outside of the school. We're gonna meet like at Central Park or Penn Station or some place where everyone can come to. Yeah. So, or even the New York Library, we'll meet there. So there's no no excuses why, because like I said, we're not for Vaughn, we're for everywhere. Like Vaughn would just provide us a platform to be here, but yeah. well, we're not just for the school only, we're for, we're everywhere. So, so yeah. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. But any ideas and any um, stuff like that, just like um, you could, you 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 have to write in the book, and write your idea in the book, and put your signature and put your your um, job title and and your um, major. Okay. So yeah, just uh, so we can make it official when we present it to the officials here and everywhere else, stuff like that. Right. So yeah, that's pretty yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me wait for other members to come. I don't know where Larry went. <laughs> I don't know where Larry went either, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where, where Larry went, to be honest with you, but... Well, like... Oh, yeah. Um, if, if you have a speech or, or if, you, if something you want to express or whatever, um, just say, like, um, oh, Kevin, like, um, I, have, I have a speech. Just raise your left hand and just say, I have a speech or I have something to say, and then you come up to, you come up to the podium and just say your speech, like, like for example, and stuff like that. So, um, which, which everyone needs to be right here, so I can tell them that, just in case if they if they said oh, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. So if you, if anyone wants to do a speech, they can come up to the podium, say how they feel, and then, then we go from there. Um, as I told everyone, it's not personal. This is this is just just like. For the non for the nonprofit organization, they're just to be professional. Like any type of feeling, is not personal. Just that's why I told everyone, like this for the organization is bigger than us. This is for the community. That's all. This is for the community um, to teach about aviation, because no one ever told me about aviation when I was a child. Yeah. Like that's never even talked about. So I want to give a lot of these kids a chance to talk about aviation. Uh, it's a, yeah, I feel that it's the same thing with me. Yeah, when I was a child, no one ever taught me mm -hmm. uh, about aviation. I used to live near LaGuardia mm -hmm. uh, until I moved. But when I was younger, I used to like watch planes and stuff. And then I got on a plane, and then the plane turned off, mm -hmm. like while pushing back. And I was like, "What happened?" Right. Um, and that's what kind of got me into it. Was like, I want to know what happened. So 
but I searched everything up. No one ever taught me or showed me. And it's very rare, like, for example, pilots. Now we need pilots. The aviation industry needs people in general. Mm -hmm. People are getting old and not many people know about the aviation industry. So the fact that we can provide information about the aviation industry to others, then I think that'd be a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a good idea too. So so that's the reason why um, I'm in the same situation as you in, because like, because uh, no one ever told me about airplanes or anything like that. So and we just want to encourage people to, to to get into into aviation, which is a good idea to do that. So so that so absolutely, like, because I don't want them to research it themselves. Like they can just look on the life. So we're gonna have our website too. So we're making our website. So that's how legit we're gonna become. Um, people can just look up. Like if if someone who's in a career right now they hate it and they want to go be a pilot, they they can have a chance to do that by looking us up. Instead of going to ten different sources, they can we, we have all the sources in, in one suit. So so we can give them a chance to 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 change their lives. Even younger kids, in case if their parents is like, oh, pilot, like what? Well, why are you gonna be a pilot for? Like do something else. They can look us up and say, hey, mom, dad, look, um, this group called Lysa. Like they're doing it, I want to join them so the parents can feel more comfortable and more safe when their child yeah. um, is flying with us or doing ATC or doing engineering, things of that nature. So, yeah, we're an open demographic group. So, um, some people thought it was only a, 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 a colored group, but it's not. It's like it's open to all demographics from all religions. So, um, if you're Christian, Muslim, or whatever, and you and you wear your traditional garments, whatever, you can wear it with the uniform. So, um, um, grooming and trimming, you don't have to cut your beard off, but just like, just pretend you're going to a job interview. Yeah, yeah you, like, it's for a religious purpose, you don't have to cut nothing off. You can just, just trim it, make it look nice and neat. Because you're presenting to the public a great, a good guy image. Oh yeah, meetings, um, we cannot curse in meetings, because we're a family friendly group. So we're trying to be family friendly. So um, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Maintenance of uniforms. Clean, clean your uniforms. Make sure you smell good. Don't be smelling like stale beef yeah. or garbage or whatever. Like, and make sure when you talk to people, especially when you're recruiting or talking to the public, make sure your breath is not smelling. Make sure you have gum or mint or whatever the case may be. So. Um, so we want to present a good a good image. So yeah. So last meeting, I have to tell everyone like don't like don't curse because we want kids and their parents and um, adults, professional adults who claim professionalism to have a clean image. So that's why. But yeah. Um, yeah. That that one. That that's everything all pretty much it, all about uniforms. I probably will go over uniforms next meetings anyway, so since new people are coming in. And then I'll go over the the initiation process. So you did the first process, so like um so you you wrote your name there, so you're good. So this attendance book is to is to have people who come in constantly become official members. So Trust me, oh, when you join this organization and, you stay, and when you stay with us, you're going to have rewards. And you can put yeah. that in your resume. Like literal trophies. Okay. So I have it in my house right now, like with your names on it. So, I mean, not really your names on it, but you, you yeah, get yeah. the point. Like, um, we're going to have events as well. As I said before, like we're going to have a, a bake sale. We're going to have, I don't know, break dancing event. I don't know. Like we're going to have a singing talent show. Um, we're not doing it. We're hosting it, and we're just having people coming in to donate. So we're giving, we're giving people something to entertain while we're in uniform, and then they'll realize, oh snap! A, bu a bunch of pilots and ATCs did a comedy show, and then they'll, <laughs> and then they'll say, oh look, get the guy from who's in the or the girl who's in the uniform. Oh yeah, women can join too. So if you have any girls or females who wants to join Lysa, they can too. So it's not a boys club, it's just it's open to male and female, gay, straight, whoever. Yeah. But when when you're in LISO, we're a brother and sisterhood. We're a family. So we don't tolerate disrespect, we don't tolerate name calling. We're, we're here to be professional and develop good habits. So we have a, a, a karamity. Yeah, we have karamity. 
So that's the main point. Because if we if we fight amongst each other, people won't take us seriously. Yeah. And our goal is to have people take us seriously. So we need to we need to act like a unit. So yeah. So regardless how you regardless how someone feels about that individual, like take it outside of the organization. Don't put it in, inside the organization. Because like even if someone doesn't like that person, don't they have to they have to say whatever you feel in front of everybody. No 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 he say she say that's part of the rules and regulations. Um, I'll give send you the email. Um, they have to say in front of everybody and then get it over with and then let's focus on the next goal. That's it. Like like we're strictly very professional. Strictly very professional. And 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 we have a family. That's the reason why I have us go on group trips. Like like outside of on we'll, we'll go to like a red lobster in uniform all together and we talk about whichever whichever so 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 we're not just like we're not just or we're not robots we're humans yeah. or we're humans with a family mentality for example if you see me failing on my test on flp 110 i will i want you to pull me to the side be like oh kevin you know what now let me help you this is what you do this this is third i'll do the same thing for you so so yeah, selfishness we can't we can't have in the group. But like I said, if you see me screwing up, I I want anyone in the in the in the group to pull me or I pull you or anyone inside and check us and check each other. So for example, um, if your shoes is messed up, I'm gonna say, Willie, your shoes is messed up, man. You need to clean that. Yeah. Because because if you look dirty, we're gonna look exactly. dirty. Exactly. So. So like uh, that's what makes this organization gonna be good. Like it's bigger than, than yourself, because you're investing in your future and the, and the next generation. So so the next generation they will have to earn their respect, just like how you earn your respect. So yeah, that's pretty much of everything. The other members didn't come yet, but I guess they're busy. There's always I'll go over go over them. Um, what, what's what's happening next? So, but. Thank you, William. Yeah. Like I said, w welcome to Lysa, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. The idea is great. Now just to put it into yeah. action. Yeah. Now I have to give you the pen, and then when you come to two more meetings, I'll have to I'll have to give you um, uh, the certificate and 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 your air crew pen, um, and I will send you everything on the on your email. Um, Oh, just in case, write your email again right here. So I can send you everything. Bye. I appreciate it. The uniform you're halfway there. I just got to give you your pen.